I'm Rich Formadoni from Korg USA. I'm here at Sweetwater with the ARP Odyssey, and I'm going to show you some very cool tricks you can do with it. One of the first things that's really characteristic about the Odyssey is its oscillator sync. It lets you get some really great complex sounds. Another cool characteristic that was unique at the time of the original Odyssey is a ring modulator. The Odyssey has a great one. The Odyssey's three different filters give you a huge sonic palette. Each one of them reacts very differently, especially when you turn on the new drive circuit. Another great and very creative feature on the Odyssey is sample and hold. Here we're going to use sample and hold to affect the pitch of the two oscillators in slightly varying amounts. Now we're also going to apply the sample and hold to the filter to give it that classic sort of computer thinking vibe. There are lots of classic sounds that are very familiar to Odyssey fans. Many of them are bass related. Here's one of them. Because the Odyssey is duophonic, it's capable of playing some really cool pad-like textures if you increase the attack and release. With a combination of square and sawtooth waves and some careful filter adjustments, you can make a really screaming lead from the Odyssey. The Odyssey is great at creating lead sounds. It's also really good for creating low, deep bass that's great for today's EDM. The Odyssey square waves in particular have a distinct kind of chiptunes feel to them. So if you're a fan of 8-bit video games and the music from them, you'll find it's very easy to recreate some of those tones using the Odyssey. This has been a quick look at the Odyssey. 
For more information on this or any other Korg product, including the Sweetwater exclusive Revision 1 Whiteface edition of the Odyssey, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks for watching.